With one in five now suffering from asthma in Ireland, it's vital we ensure that our homes are also in a suitable, healthy condition. Upgrading your home is something important, not just for heat loss and comfort, but also for health reasons. Asthma triggers are prevalent in our daily life, but especially in our homes, where we spend 60% of our time. It's something we can alleviate if we know what to look for and how to avoid it within our home. With one asthma-related death a week, we are now amongst the worst four countries in the world for asthma levels. I met with Dr Manning from the Asthma Society of Ireland to see what is causing this increase. Yes, there are about 500,000 asthmatics in Ireland, but the level of asthma has increased from about 1 in 20 children having asthma to about 1 in 5 having it now 20 years later. So the level of asthma has increased fourfold over that period of time. So what's causing this incredible increase? Well, asthma is a genetic condition, but genes don't change in, in, in a period of 20 years. So there must be something acting on the genes in, in people to develop asthma and to develop asthma symptoms. But we certainly think the environment plays a significant role. So if we take problems of humidity and temperature, how do these affect us in our homes? If you look at the quite significant allergens that we're looking at in terms of asthma, house dust mite would be the number one, followed by closely by mould allergen. And in the home where there's high levels of humidity and the temperatures are also high, these are the conditions that will lead to the growth of these allergens. Is ventilation important? Ventilation is extremely important because if we can keep the fresh air coming into the house, it tends to reduce the concentrations of noxious fumes in the home and proper management of dust can often eliminate symptoms significantly in patients with uh, asthma, particularly children. So what's the band of humidity that affects asthmatic conditions in the home? Roughly around 40% to 55 would be uh, very comfortable for, for people with asthma. Not too dry, but dry enough to eliminate the house dust mite because they don't survive on low humidity and when the temperature is, is low as well. So regarding temperature, what band is the worst? If we can keep it around 20 or less, particularly in the bedroom, I think we would be able to reduce the level of infestation with the house dust mite. So bedroom temperatures of, say, 16 degrees would be good? If people can tolerate that. So besides humidity and temperature, what are the other things that affect people in their home with asthmatic conditions? Well, I think in the home, levels of environmental tobacco smoke, but secondhand smoke, should be significantly eliminated. There are other things as well, such as sprays and air fresheners, that can often trigger asthma very, very quickly. So eliminating them or keeping them to a very, very minimum should be a, a key to, the, to managing asthma in the home. These are extremely important reasons why asthma levels are going through the roof. But worst of all is the fact that we're often living in high humidity, badly ventilated and sometimes overheated homes.